I have seen that once people start using Home Assistant, they just stick to that platform because that platform provides a lot of features, a lot of convenience without having any knowledge of programming. So for all those Home Assistant diehard lords, I am bringing you a great integration for your existing Home Assistant setup using which you will be able to control up to 4 AC appliances and also control the speed of one AC fan with the help of Home Assistant dashboard along with the manual switches and manual fan regulation. So this will be the perfect home automation hardware that you need to have for your home assistant setup and you also don't need to hassle about the hardwares and components and shouldering anything. We are providing this complete project with all the components shouldered on it which will deliver straight at your doorstep. So this is the must watch video for all the home assistant lovers. So before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing as I come up with these kind of project tutorials in the field of IoT, automation and electronics. That being said, let's start with all-in-one home automation using Home Assistant. Before starting the video, let me tell you one really interesting and useful feature of our sponsor LTM which is a PCB designer based software company and that feature is called as Design Review. Using LTM, you can add any member to your project and after that, they can highlight any fault in the schematic or can report availability of components in the inventory on the PCB to your designer so that they can visualize this component and can work upon it to provide a smooth flow of PCB production even if they both are in any corner of the world. So that's the design review feature and even you can try out this and many other features of LTM for free by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description as you'll be getting an access to free trial version using that link. Now let's start with our video. Now for those who want to make this project completely from scratch, well, you'll require these all components for making this project whose list and links are attached in the article whose link you can find in the description of this video. Now for getting all those components, you also need to connect them according to the schematic diagram. Now as you can see, this project has a lot of connections in it, so we designed our custom PCB to make the project look more compact and sturdy. And after designing the PCB, we gave its order directly you guessed it right, to JLC PCB. Well, even you can try out JLC PCB for your custom PCB design based order because that has a very simple steps to order and you'll also get the PCBs as quick as possible at your doorstep. The steps are very simple. You just need to upload the Gerber file of the PCB project, select the number of PCBs and color masking and directly place your order. And if you select the fastest delivery option, you will get the PCBs delivered at your doorstep within a week. So do try ordering your own custom designed PCBs from JLC PCB to make your project looks neat and more compact. So after getting the PCBs and shouldering all the components on it, the final hardware looks like this. Neat and compact. Now for the manual fan regulator, what we did is we got this 5 step rotary switch and connected its wire at the bottom which can easily get connected with our PCB project. And as I said earlier, you'll get this complete PCB project with all the component shoulder on it along with that rotary switch from our website. Just click the link mentioned in the description, place your order and you'll get everything ready to be used. Like you just need to make the connections with your switchboard, upload the sketch onto the ESP32 board and you are good to go. Okay, so that was all about the hardware part of the project. Now we are left with the coding part and here in this project, you'll require a little bit of coding but don't worry, you don't need to do that. You just need to sit and understand what we did here and just copy and paste the stuff. I'll provide all the files to you in my GitHub repository, okay? So let me take you to the Home Assistant platform and let's see what kind of coding we have to do to make this project work. Okay, so now let me show you what configurations you need to do on the Home Assistant platform to support all the fans and lights and the manual switches and everything. As I said earlier, it will require a little bit of coding, but I'll explain you, you just need to copy and paste the thing. Okay, so first of all, we'll go to the ESP Home, uh, uh, what you can say, add-on that we already installed. Now there is one criteria before, you know, following this video is you must have watched my previous video, which was about controlling four appliances using ESP Home, you know, add-on or integration. In our home assistant platform so do watch that video out because that video have covered how to install esp home and everything it is very basic steps but you need to watch that out okay so after doing that you just need to click on the new device button click on continue give this device a name i'll name it as esp32 only click on the next button select esp32 as the device name and congratulations you have created this particular thing and here click on the edit button press ctrl a 
and control V. So this is the code that you need to add inside this YAML file. I'll definitely provide this code into uh, in the description so you can download and you know install this onto your home assistant platform. But here, as you can see, one cross is there, which is this about ifan02.h. So we need to have a header file to make this code work onto the home assistant. Now, how to add the header file? What is this header file all about? Uh, there are a couple of questions in your mind. Let me show you first of all how to add it and then we'll discuss why to add it. Okay, I'll click on the save button and now to install the header file, you first need to have uh, integration or add-on called as a code server which you can get by going to settings into the add-on section click on add add-on store here just type code server and here is the studio code server click on the install button and this is basically a visual studio code editor you can say so using this you can add those header files as well okay so let's just wait till this particular thing get installed and in the meantime let me tell you what is this header file all about and how i got the idea of having the header file well i got the idea from the official ESP home website uh, when I just researched like I was researching about how to add a fan speed controller into the ESP home and I landed on this zone of iFan O2 now those who don't know what is this then a zone of iFan O2 is a product so uh, sold by zone of company using which you can control the speed of the fan so it's a three speed fan controller and you can also control the light okay so there's one light and one uh, fan circuit built into that product okay so this is a perfect code for me because i do only require the you know what you can say the fan speed part the light part a light part was already covered by me okay so the fan part uh, i got the help from this website this particular uh, page again i will leave the link of this in the description so here as you can see this is the ifan02.h header file they have made and this is a very simple header file in which they are just comparing the value of the slider they are getting and accordingly we are switching on and off the relays okay so if so first of all what they're doing is they are dividing the whole slider uh, in the values from 0 to 1 okay so as it is a three speed controller so the value will be ranging from 0 0.3 to 0 0.6 to 0 0.9 or basically 1 okay so this is a three speed uh, fan controller and uh, in our case we have uh, using the four speed fan controller so we need to change this value a bit and yes we need to switch on and off the relay according to the switch that we want to set and after that, we just need to include that header file into the code and inside the header file, uh, sorry, inside the YAML file, I'm sorry, we need to define the GPIO pins on which the relay is attached. And after that, we need to also provide an Lambda function. Now this Lambda function is a special function inside the ESP home platform, which is used for using this header file functions. Okay. So for that, this Lambda function is used and yeah, this is the uh, main function using which we are able to control the speed of the fan in the YAML file with the help of the header file. So I got I, like I took this code as the base and I converted it into my project. Okay, so for more details, you can, you know, uh, read out this particular page. Great. Now let's just see. Okay, so the code server is successfully installed. Let's just click on show in sidebar. So here it is appeared. I'll click on the start button and hopefully it should start. Okay, so it started running great. Amazing. So we'll go to the studio code server you know tab and here is the server and now here uh, the esp home section will appear as we already have the esp home here so we'll click on this and as you can see the esp32.yml file appeared here so this is that yml file that i pasted just now in this video only so here what i'll do i'll click on this plus file uh, plus icon on the like new file button and we'll name this new file as ifan02.h great and here I'll paste this file. Okay. So this is that same uh, file that we have seen in the, into this ESP home uh, page. I just edited the speed levels. As I said, we have a four speed controller and earlier they were having the three speed controller. So I changed this value a little bit like 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and then the one. Okay. So that's it. We will save this file and uh, hopefully the error should get disappeared from this particular thing. As you can see, the cross got disappeared. So that means we have successfully installed the header file and it is supported in this YAML file as well. Now, the fan part is clear, like how the fan speed is controlled using this header file. Now, but one thing is remaining, how we are getting the feedback, like how we are able to control the appliances, like both switches and fan using the manual switches and manual fan regulator. Well, that is something which is remaining to be explained. No worry, I'll explain it straight away. So here it is. So we are taking the help of the binary 
binary sensor component in ESP Home. Okay, and well, you can know more about this binary sensor by just copying this and you no. Know, uh, pasting inside this quick search of ESP home and uh, you'll be getting uh, all the detail about binary sensor component okay so basically the binary sensor is used when you want to get the data from the hardware side and uh, to do some actions based on that okay so that is the binary sensor so let's just start with the manual switches to control the lights what we are doing is we are using the platform as GPIO GPIO pin number we have to define which is 32 in our case for light 1 I give that button as a light one name okay its device class is light and here are the actions attached to it so there are two parts in this binary sensor component one is the hardware part like which switch we want to use another is the action part or we can say the automation part like what we need to do when something happens into that hardware for example if we are pressing this uh, gpio 32 on press means it is turned on or digital high signal and on release means uh, turning off the button or digital low signal okay so whenever we are uh, pressing the button means that whenever we are passing the digital one in our case we are turning the light off because I have pulled high the button so whenever I turn on the switch I'm passing the digital zero signal to the controller and whenever I'm turning off the switch I'm passing the digital one to the controller so I have a reverse logic kind of switch now basically what I'm saying here is as soon as we are getting the digital signal one on the GPI 32 just turn off the light component with the ID light one and light one ID is nothing but this thing okay so we are turning off this light one ID which will ultimately turn off the light output one means the GPI 15 are you getting how we are integrating all these things so this is how you can do all the automation part using the binary sensor component okay uh, similarly when I you know turn on the switch it will be getting the signal as digital low and we are just turning on the light component with the ID light one. And similarly, we are turning on and off the light two, light three and light four by, you know, providing the dedicated GPIO pin to it. Pretty simple, pretty easy to understand, right? And similarly, we are controlling the speed of the fan using the manual fan regulator. But here is one thing which is missing and I want your help maybe some of the expert of home assistant or ESP home can help me out in this let me explain the thing and then will, I will let you know the problem so here as we are using a four speed fan controller so the knob that we are using will be obviously having four steps and then it will turn off so total five steps will be there so here we are attaching a GPIO pin for each uh, terminal of that knob you can say like GPIO 27 14 13 but as you can see here i have used only three terminals and not the four terminal well it's just because uh, if you watch out my this video in which i have reverse engineered the fan knob you'll come to know that at particular speed three there are two pins which are getting a signal okay so two pins are getting a digital signal low and if that's the case that means it is a speed three okay but i'm not able to compare two pins at the same time to configure the speed three so that is the problem i'm facing okay so here i'm just comparing the single pin like gpi 27 gpi 14 gpi 13 but i'm not able to compare two digital pins data at the same time to trigger the speed three of the fan speed so that's the issue i'm facing and due to that issue using the manual fan regulator i will be only able to you know turn the fan speed at a three speed level only that means it will turn on at speed one turn on at speed two as well but it won't be you know switching on to speed three it will be staying on to speed two only and when you switch on to speed four it will turn to speed four so it won't work at, at speed three that's the issue with the manual regulator but using the slider on the home assistant platform you will be able to control for all the four speed like one two three four all four speed will work using the home assistant platform so that's the one error i'm facing that issue i'm facing if you can help me out well i'll, I'll you know more than happy for you okay for me as well <laughs> so yeah do let me know the solution if you know and i'll i'll modify the code as well great so based on the data that we are getting on the particular pin we are you know 
uh you know turning on the speed like speed one speed two and as you can see directly speed four we don't have anything for speed three so yeah that was all about the yml code and also about the dot uh, h header file which is ifan02 i hope you got some basic idea about how these things are working this may seem so complicated for a one who is you know uh, dedicated using a home assistant platform because they don't generally have any uh, idea about the coding okay if they have they don't have that expertise in coding so it will be it must be difficult for you to understand but i tried my level best to make you understand and if you still don't understand don't worry yeah just <laughs> take this file head into your home assistant platform upload it onto esp3 to pony and you're good to go right chalo that's pretty much it now what i'll do is i will straight away i'll go to esp home i'll click on the edit button and i'll straight away install this code into my ESP32 board which is connected onto the home assistant server which is nothing but our Raspberry Pi board so let me install it and after that what I'll do is I'll straight away insert that ESP32 board into the home automation PCB and after that I'll make the connection of my PCB project with our home appliances according to this connection diagram now be very careful while doing this connections with the AC mains voltage. I'll suggest to turn off the mains voltage before you know opening a switchboard or playing with those wires. So after successfully making all the connections, we turned on the mains voltage. After that, we switched on the PCB project. And now let's just test this project working in action. Hey, I forgot to show you how to set up the home assistant dashboard to actually control the lights and the speed of the fan. Let me show you that quickly. So here, first of all, click on this icon and click on edit dashboard. After that, just click on add card and here go to buy entity. Now here you have to select all the entity like the fan speed and the light. So here I'll select this fan and here you need to make sure that you select this bulb icon and not this one icon because this is the binary sensor you can say and this is the actual appliance. So I'll select this. So this is for light one, similarly this is for light two, this is for light three and this is for light four. That's it. Just click on continue and click on add to dashboard and you can drag and drop this like you can you know, move it up and down according to your need. I'll make it to the top. Okay. So yeah, here is at the top. That's it. Just click on the done button and we are done with the web dashboard setup. And now let's just see everything in action. So as you can see, I'm easily able to control the lights using the home assistant platform. Pretty common. Let's just test out the fan speed. Amazing. So I'm able to control the speed of the fan at all the four fan speed level. Superb. Now let us test out with the manual switches and manual fan regulator. Amazing. I'm able to control those lights using these manual switches and also getting that feedback live onto my home assistant dashboard. And if I play with the manual fan regulator knob, as you can see, I'm able to control the speed as well. And it's real time speed is reflected onto the home assistant dashboard only the speed 3 is not reflected and that's what i discuss inside the code as well so yeah our home assistant platform is successfully working for controlling four appliances and also controlling the speed of the fan along with the manual switches and manual fan regulator and as i said uh, i'm also selling this pcb project with all the components already shouldered on it on our website you can just click the link mentioned in the description and get one uh, home automation kit project for your home or office and you can easily control using the home assistant dashboard so yeah that was all about this thing i hope you liked it i hope you got to learn something new from it because this is the topic which is missing inside the youtube platform like controlling the speed of the fan using the home assistant platform also you get the manual switches feedback so this thing was missing i tried to cover that topic for you guys for all the home assistant lovers i hope you liked it if is it so well don't forget to click the like button and tell youtube algorithm that this video is really worth watching also do let me know in the comments about what next you want to learn inside the home assistant platform and i'll definitely try to make that project for all you lovely subscribers and yeah that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video explore learn share with me, Techie SMS.